Hello and welcome back to another KSP career episode with me. I'm your host Groundforks and today as you can tell I've changed the mods. I have gone away from the Tundra Starship version and I've gotten the Starship from the Starship Expansion Project mod. So here in this episode I will be building and testing this vehicle. So yeah, sorry if it's a little bit repetitive, but I need a reliable, you know, launch system that will be able to help me launch all my heavy stuff. So I figured might as well be, you know, testing all the engines and testing the starship and as it goes. So the high altitude test was already conducted well with the uh, with the Tundra mod and the first orbital test was also done with Tundra mod, but the vehicle is substantially different. So I figured I wanted to build another vehicle and test it and see how it goes. This one doesn't have the landing legs as you can tell, so this one will be a fully orbital vehicle. Yes, look at it. It is on the test stand. We might be even able to test it. Who knows? All right, so yeah, it looks actually kind of cool. So we're gonna call this one Starship SN2 Starship test vehicle. Yeah, so it's easily assembled and should probably be quite easy to test. The only thing that I want to be making sure that I can test is the flaps and all that jazz. So first I want to be able to toggle the engines. Yeah, there we go. Okay, then four is the to deploy the fins. There we go. And then uh, that should probably be enough for the test itself. However, the thrust to weight is 0 0.81, which means this is, was not designed to be able to take off the ground per se. But if we load it with less fuel, it should be just fine. So that being said, let's start the simulation. All right, and we're going to do another high altitude test just i thought because i want to see how this vehicle behaves and look at it go beautiful all right so the idea is once again get to 12 12 kilometer apoapsis then slowly descend flip and then hopefully land so this time without the landing legs yes all right three two only burning on one raptor just to be able to then killing it off and okay it's a little bit different than what you know spacex used to do but i'm hoping that it will probably be close enough so that thing being said let's see how this thing behaves all right flips flies heavily tries dances all around the place all right Good. Now we have it in a, let's say, more controllable manner. And yeah, who am I kidding? I have no control over this thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Come on. Come on. I might have control. Okay. We are at 2000 meters. So I might be lighting the engines sooner rather than later. One, two, two Raptors. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can land safely. All right there we go there we go okay i mean it's it's performing quite nicely there if i dare say so myself okay i'm flying a little bit sideways a little bit more sideways than i would like and okay okay so yeah i'm gonna call this one a success all right time to go for the orbital vehicle this time we're going all the way so rather than having three i want to be placing the once again the engines that are basically enabled all at once then i'm gonna be placing the orbital you know raptors the vacuum raptors yes rvex and then i'm gonna be separating the two stages then i want to be placing the decoupling what's the name of that thing yeah that one behemoth interstage that's basically a fancy way to say a, a big ass decoupler yeah um uh, yeah so we have a behemoth which is actually the super heavy and we have the core tank and we have two versions the 33 engine cluster and the 29 engine cluster i'm gonna take the 33 gosling on the same mix okay and let's see what do we have here there we go fill it all the way to the top 
I just want to see how much Delta V we can crank out of this thing. So, right. There we go. So 9,038 Delta V. That's actually enough to ship things off to Jewel. That's nice. All right, so let's take the orbital test stand. Yeah, there we go. All right. Apparently it can go any higher. That's fine. And uh, shall I be just turning it correctly on the side? Let's see, all right. Oh, I'm not gonna be building the launch tower. <laughs> I'm nowhere near that good. So yeah, sorry about that. Okay, let's take it this way. I want to put this down. This looks fine. Yeah, all in all, I think this looks pretty good. Shall we give it a go? And look at it go. All right. Okay, first I need to rotate it and then we're gonna be gently pitching 90 degrees. There we go. Sweet. Overall it flies pretty nice, pretty stable to be honest. No major problems whatsoever. Almost if somebody engineered it that way. Yeah, I just assembled the pieces. I think of it like, you know, Kerbal Lego or something. So, yeah. Only thing that it's missing is reflections and the panache of the normal fly. But then again, it looks, it looks kosher. So, yeah, there we go. We have way too much Delta V. I'll probably be able to get fully to orbit on the behemoth alone. Probably. Yeah, we will. All right, well, that's I guess is good. The venting gas is we're using the combination of liquid methane and oxidizer. So all in all, it looks kind of cool. There we go. We are aligned. And we are ready to burn in one minute. Look at this shot. Glorious. That's the screenshot for the episode, I'm telling you. All right, and hit it. I think ultimately the super heavy, it's not, it's not gonna take the vehicle all the way to the orbit, but then again, I want to see just how well it behaves. So, okay, disconnect and take it that final stretch into the orbit. And there we go, look at it go. 100 by 100 kilometer orbit. Looks kind of cool. So I'm going to here actually add the maneuver node and prepare for the re-entry. So I'm not going to even go one full orbit because this is like, you know, a first test. It's a flight. I have to see how the surfaces behave. Center of lift, center of mass and all that stuff. So, yeah. We are time warping to the dark side where we shall be performing the deorbit burn, which is tiny. I mean, 64 meters per second compared to the monstrous 6,000 meters per second that I have. There we go. All right, I'm happy with that. Time to test the re-entry. And I think that's actually the fun part. Because that's something that we haven't yet seen from the SpaceX. Well, we haven't seen uh, big, this big monstrosity taking off anyway, but... And as you can tell, I have really made sure that you guys can properly see everything, even the RCS firing, although you don't see the ship who's firing it. That's fine. Yeah. Well, soon enough we'll be on the sunny side and then hopefully the re-entry will be a lot more glorious than this. Yeah. Okay, we are already in or or sorry, already in the atmosphere. Just descending through the layers. There we go. Look at it go. I have deployed the flaps and I'm keeping my pitch up. So hopefully, I mean, I'm not pitching too much because I'm really concerned that if I go too high of a pitch, well, you know, things might get really toasty. So we'll see. This is a completely new control scheme for me. So yeah, look at it go. Oh, and the sun rises. Oh, isn't this glorious? Beautiful.
Ah, oh, so nice. Uh, 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 what, 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 wait, wait, what, wait, come on, come back, come back. And I think the problem is that the starship wants to go in as first. And there's a really good explanation for that. We have not consumed all of our fuel, meaning, and I have no way to vent it, meaning that this is very heavy in the rear. So, ultimately, this is not the profile that SpaceX would be using, because it would be coming down with empty tanks, more or less. But then again, it happens. Right. Uh, so I, I'm thinking the actuators, which are the wings, can control the pitch and roll to a degree, but I think at this point the, the Starship is a little bit too heavy to be able to not wanting to go the center of mass first, so that's why I'm thinking. And I'm actually burning, not because I want to burn, but I think just to expand the, expand the fuel, to be honest. As much as possible, of course. Yeah, I'm trying desperately to pitch it to get forward and oh, I almost did it and then it went sideways or backwards or whatever the hell this is. I was trying to rotate it into submission, but it wouldn't listen. So I think there will be more tests for sure to figure out how the, how the hell will this go. Oh, and the nose fell off. Of course it did. So guys, this test is going a little bit sideways, but you know what to do. Hit that like button and I will be seeing you in the next episode just after this thing lands, quote quote. Thanks for watching.